Most important days in your life are number one, the day you're born, and number two, the day you figure out why. Why you were born. God has never created anything without a purpose. Every plant has a purpose. Every star has a purpose. Every animal has a purpose. God does not create things without a reason, without a purpose. And if your heart is beating and you're breathing, there's a purpose for your life. Because God never makes anything without a purpose. And the very fact that you're alive makes your life meaningful, that God had a reason for creating you. Now, if you want to know the purpose of your life, you got to start with God. You can't find it on TV. You can't find it in the movies. You can't find it, uh, you know, reading a book. You can't find it. A lot of people say, well, the way you need to find your purpose is look within. Like, trust the force, Luke. Look within. That doesn't work. I tried that a lot of times. Look within. All I saw was a bunch of confusion. You can't tell you what your purpose is because you didn't make you. Does that make sense? It, 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 only your creator can tell you what your purpose is. You can't tell yourself because you weren't alive when he, whoever thought you up thought you up. If I were to hold up in, just in any kind of invention that you had never seen, and I held up and I said, tell me what this is. What's the purpose of this invention? You wouldn't have the slightest idea. And the only way you would know the purpose of an invention you'd never seen is either A, talk to the inventor, the creator who made it, and they can tell you what it does, or B, read the owner's manual. The same is true for your life. The only way you're ever gonna know your purpose for your life, why you're here on this planet, what on earth you're here for, is A, talk to your creator, God, who made you, and B, read the owner's manual. It is in Christ we find out who we are, what we're living for, part of the overall purpose that he, God, is working out in everything and everyone. You were made by God, you were made for God. Until you understand that, your life is never gonna make sense. You're gonna go through life wondering, what on earth am I here for? You gotta start with God. One day, your heart is gonna stop. That's gonna be the end of your body, but it's not gonna be the end of you. That's gonna be the end of your time on earth, but it's not gonna be the end of you. God has long range plans for your life, and I'm not exaggerating, because he wants you to live forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So you're gonna actually spend more time on the other side of death than you do on this time side. On this side, you get 80 years at the most, maybe 100, that's it. That's not really a whole lot of time. After you die, you move into eternity and you're gonna spend trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions, and trillions to onto infinity and beyond uh, for the rest of your life. So this is like a little tiny millimeter of your life, the few measly years you're here on earth. Most of your life is gonna be on the other side. Now have you ever thought about this? If God wants to take me to heaven, why doesn't he just take me there instantly? Why didn't he just make me and start with me in heaven? Why does God put you on this planet for 80 years? Really, why does he do that? Well, the Bible says you're not ready for heaven. There are some things you need to learn. And God says this life, follow me, this life is preparation for the next. If you wanna know why you're on this planet, it is to get ready for the next life. This life is preparation for the next. This is the preschool. This is the warm-up act. This is the get ready stage. This is the kindergarten. This is the dress rehearsal before the real show begins. This is the first lap around track before the real race begins. This is the warm-up act. Getting ready for eternity because that's the real show that's gonna go on forever and ever and ever. And what God wants you to do here on earth is practice what you're gonna do in heaven forever so when you get to heaven, you know what to do.